So, uh, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the first uh, guest speaker section uh, session of this uh, semester. Today I have the immense pleasure to introduce to you uh, Mr. Daryl uh, J. Bennett. He is uh, a Harvard educated uh, entrepreneur. So he was born in Baltimore in the United States. Now he lives in uh, New York. And um, so uh, today he will talk uh, about his story, about his journey as an entrepreneur, about his struggles, uh, the obstacles he had to overcome, and also uh, about his uh, companies he created. So uh, he created, for example, the B Squared Global Group, which is a absolute, it, it's a very uh, well-made platform uh, for mentorship programs, uh, tailor-made uh, mentorship uh, for young people, but also professionals. Uh, he's also a very talented guest uh, public speaker. Uh, uh, and, uh, and yeah, so it's a really big pleasure to, uh, to have him here. We were quite lucky he was supposed to come in person, but it didn't work out, but it's okay, he's online, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I think I'll give the I'll give the floor to all the okay. screen. Okay. 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 I really appreciate I really that. Appreciate Can y'all hear me? Can Let's hear start me? there. Can you hear me clearly? <laughs> Good. Okay. Good. Okay. So let me start by let saying start thank by you saying. very much. Very I really do appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you, Roger, for organizing this, the whole leadership team. Um, I really do appreciate this. I, I don't take lightly the opportunity to be able to share with you some of my journey. I understand we have about 18 to 20 minutes where I'll share. That's the only reason why I'm looking down to make sure that I stay on schedule. Um, Y'all will give me a two minute warning as well uh, when I get there, because I want to make sure that I answer all of your questions or as many questions as I can. So like Roger said, my name is Daryl J. Bennett um, and I do inspiration and empowerment. I would love to say that my life has been like a straight line upward. I would love to really just talk to you about the successes, but the truth of the matter is really what made me are the struggles that I've had and how I've overcome them. So my journey as an entrepreneur started when I was 18 years old, still in college. I went to a college called Morehouse College. Not sure if y'all have heard of it. It is the alma mater of Dr. Martin Luther King. And at the end of my freshman year, I had applied for a lot of internships and nobody accepted me. Not one internship. I applied for banking internships. I applied for political internships. I think I applied for one internship at a park. Like they all said no, like even the park. So the question became, now what do I do? And like I said, this was the beginning. And I didn't realize that at the time. While my friends went off to these great internships that they were doing, I decided to volunteer at the mayor's office back where I was living at the time, which is which was Virginia, Newport News, Virginia. I decided in my mind, you know what? Why don't I write a manual for high schoolers for what I wish I knew when I was in high school, at least so maybe they can get an internship when they get to college. That manual, I decided within two weeks, I said, well, I might as well go ahead and write a book. That book, Daring to be Different, which is still paying me today, y'all. You see, it's still paying me today, came out of a no. And that's what I want to start with. That experience taught me two things. One, stop waiting for people to give you a yes, Daryl. Create your own yes. Because while my friends came back from their internship with stories, I came back from my summer with cash and I'm still getting paid for a book that I wrote at 18 years old. The second thing that I learned from that experience is to take a risk. 
It was a risk, obviously, for me to write the book. It was a risk for me to um, put myself out there, but it really changed my perspective. And I just want to say here for a second, many people, when they talk about entrepreneurship, they talk about it, unfortunately, from the aspect of what they have or what they built or what they created. But the truth of the matter is everything that will come out of an entrepreneur, their business or their brand is going to start from a mindset. And so that mindset directly led me to Harvard. 